Sutherland. All other Federal battle cruisers have been lost after investigating permission activity in the Persia Star oh, really? Cluster. Why do you sound like Sean Connery? Our mission so. is to find and destroy the permission homeworlds before they start another war of conquest. Anyway, Sean Connery, you'll have to wait. To the battle cruiser Sutherland. So, finally got a uh, Jaguar CD drive. It only cost me 250 quid. Way, hey, which money I don't actually have. I've got a couple of games with it. Vidgrid, which is shit. A nice green van just outside. Shut up. Enter New game, anyway. Don't actually have a memory card, so I can't actually see. Ooh, crap. No. How do I go back? Ah, this joypad's too sensitive. That'll do. <laughs> Balls deep and hard. I'll go for easy. Select a shaved game. Some shit. So yeah, bid grid is shit. With it blue lightning, that's okay. Got Highlander as well. That is absolutely shit. Welcome to the briefing room. Camera's home of military HQ that is occupied by Paternian. Mm. Be careful out there. Load weapons onto your war griffon. You can put one weapon in each cruise bombs. Decoy. So if you haven't quite guessed. By the billions of videos that are out there. Ready for launch. Stand this by. is the sequel Three, to Cyberwar. Two, one, launch. To be fair, it's not that bad. It's not a star Approaching Fox. Target world. And it's definitely not Skyhammer. Oh, I want to play a Skyhammer. I want to get a skunk board as well. Good luck. The hell is that a key? Yeah, for some um, I think my actual CD drive though is kind of dying because it's having a hard time reading games anyway. There's actually a replacement laser that you can get, but I just spent 250 quid on it. I'm not paying the though. 20 odd, 30 odd quid for a bloody lady when it just jerked. Enhanced scanning. As you might tell by the crackling. I must have to go for this port. Guessing they're just rocks. I do like about this is it's going to go underwater. 
Wish the frame rate was just a little bit higher. But they say anyway that the entire Jaguar, especially with CD drive, is just as good as the Saturn. But other than the Skyhammer, no, nope, really showed it off. Alien vs. Predator was a good game, for what I remember it. I haven't played it recently. But it was just a bit slow compared to that of Doom. Oh, although Wolfenstein had the um, constant, what's it called? You know, sp the uh, sprites constant aphasia. That looked impressive as well. Um, but Alien vs Predator. Uh, not that great. I don't know, I just feel um other than the sky hammer. Not really showed it off. Rapid fire. Especially what you could actually do with it. Um, like Port Resident Evil crossover with that. I reckon it could do that quite well. But the fact that it's got a million buttons, you would want somebody to be able to uh, create a new controller for it with trigger buttons. Not trigger buttons. Oh yeah, trigger buttons. Um, shoulder buttons. That would be pretty cool. Nobody really talks about the Atari Jaguar. It's a shame. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm waffling on. Shit. But yeah, got a Jag CD. For oh, there's bound to be some good indie games on this. Nope. They're all cartridge based. I was pretty annoyed. But don't regret buying it. Do want to get another Atari Jaguar though. Wanna um, get the Jag Link. I like the Jag Link too. But get around to buying it. No longer made. So yeah, if anyone knows of a skunk board, which is essentially a Atari Jaguar flash board, please let me know. I'm desperately want one. I'm not going to pay over the odds for it. I'm not going to pay like 300 fucking quid. Sod that. Mad. Is it this building I've got to destroy? We're all getting blown up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Where the fuck am I? Did that just go through? Awesome. Rapid fire. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh god, that clicked. Concentration span of a night. You might tell, it's a waffle. I'm gonna repeat myself a lot. Ah, there it is. <laughs> War Griffon ready for launch. Stand by. Three, two, one, launch. Approaching target world. But I want to start collecting more consoles again. Kind of want to get a um, Saturn next. I've got a PlayStation 1. I haven't got it chipped or modded. I do want to get it modded because there's um, a few Japanese games that we'll never play at. That's pretty good. I say I won't expect that. It's definitely an improvement though on Cybermorph. It's just a shit. It just can't, other than the stupid voice acting and bullshit. 
and the cutscenes. I can't really see why it needed to be on CD though. Ah, uh, bloody laptop and stupid Java. But, but yeah, anybody knows a good starting point for programming. What I kind of need to program for the Jaguar. Obviously, jumping uh, the gun a bit there, but I do want to uh, start programming a bit. We'll be good at it, but... If they really polished this game, it would have been pretty good. I'll keep waffling again, but. Kind of reminds me of. Um, we're an N64 game. So I've got far sight in my head, but I don't think it was that. A far sight. Something stupid like that. And you used to go down corridors, it was like a spaceship game. And you get went down tunnels. But it was full 3D, fly upside down. That was confusing as hell. Ah, oh, stop with the clicking. Hey, apparently, I can't fly in the anus. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I think. I should call it a day. No. Let's go home. Access code found. Ooh. Apparently we can go home. Damn that clicking. Fucking trees. Well, I'll leave you to uh, Sean Connery's voice. Stand by. That voice, man, that voice. Right, see ya.